Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today is the last day of our Disneyland vacation. So before I go ahead and pack up everything, I thought I would show you everything that we bought. So stay tuned for a Disneyland haul. Okay guys, so before I get started showing you all of the items, I wanted to give you a quick little trip recap. We've been here for several days, but it's our last Disney day. Right now I'm actually in our hotel. We're staying right across the street at the Grand Legacy at the park, which we've stayed at before and I have a full video review if you wanna check it out. But they were so nice to host us again. Definitely one of my favorite hotels. It's really convenient that's right across the street. I'll go ahead and turn you around so you can see what I mean. So yes, right outside that window is actually Disney's California Adventure, and that big building right there is the Hyperion Theater where they have the Frozen stage show. So this trip has been extra special because we celebrated Mackenzie's birthday and my birthday as well. And even though it rained most of the time, it was still really fun. And it was really special because I even got to meet several of you guys while at the park. I was pretty shocked that anyone would recognize me, but I was so happy to meet some really nice subscribers. So nice to meet you guys. Thanks for saying hi. So this is our last Disneyland day. Tomorrow we're actually planning on going to a place called Knott's Berry Farm, which is a different theme park in the area. And then the day after that, we're headed to Universal Studios um, Hollywood, which I'm super excited about because I love Harry Potter. So I'm hoping to vlog a little bit of that as well to show you guys. So I'm gonna show you the haul, then I'm gonna pack it away, and then I'm gonna join my family across the street. Hopefully we'll be seeing the world of color tonight. Okay, so for this haul, I have items that I personally picked out for me, items that I got for the kids, and then items that they chose themselves. Because thankfully, before we came, my mother gave us a gift card for our birthday. So we were able to buy a little bit more with that gift card. So thank you, Mom. So first up, I have a new park bag. I just love this new sort of blue retro print they have this year. I'm pretty sure it's new. This bag was $29.99 and it's a perfect little park bag for me because it has a long crossbody strap, which I really like in the park. I take my diaper bag, but I also have a personal bag where I keep all of my personal things. So as you can see here, it's kind of like a pleather, not real leather. But the back has a zipper just like that. And then what I really like about this bag is a little front compartment. It opens up like that. And then you have a space for all of your credit cards, your annual pass, a pen, and things like that. So you don't need to bring a separate wallet, which is great because right now when you go through security, they wanna see in your bag, and they also wanna see in your wallet as well. So you don't have to bring a wallet and put all in there. There's also a larger compartment in there as well so it's like the perfect little size now to go along with this i also got a new pair of ears which match it's the new sort of blue and pink polka dot retro look and look at the little daisy isn't that precious i love that so these were $24.99 pretty much all of the ears are about $24.99 right now and just so you guys know, they are currently sold out of the rose gold ears. I had so many people stop and ask me if I got these at the park today because they were hoping to find them, but unfortunately they're all sold out. So no more gold ears for now. Now I also got one more hat for myself yesterday when it was pouring down rain and it's this one. And so I really like this one for when it's windy or rainy at the park because it covers my hair. So when my hair gets messed up, I can just put this on. And this was super cute. It has a little Minnie Mouse embroidered on the side. They also had a men's version that did not have polka dots and does not have a bow, but I couldn't talk my husband into getting it. He said he was too practical for that. And this hat was $24.99, so about the same price as the ears, but just a different option. Good for sunny days as well. Okay, so next up I have a boxed jewelry set that my husband picked out for me. Isn't this sweet? It comes with a little necklace and earrings with a little faux pearl on there. I love that. This was 
or $29.95 actually. Okay guys, next up I have some new Christmas ornaments. Now I know it's not Christmas time at all, but I'd like to start getting a couple of ornaments every time we come. And if you're a fan of Beauty and the Beast, you're going to love these guys. They were actually having a sale three. If you bought three, they were only $20 each. So we have a little Mrs. Potts with Chip. Isn't that adorable? And then we also have a Cogsworth, just like that. And then we also have Lumiere. And he is awesome because he actually lights up. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but yeah, he lights up just like that. Isn't that cute? Now they didn't have a uh, beast or a bell in stock today, so maybe I'll pick that up on my next trip. Next up, I have several kitchen items. You guys know I love to cook, so these are perfect for me. I have some measuring spoons that look like Mickey's hand. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna say cute like a thousand times because all of these things are super cute. And I also got a Mickey muffin mold. So this is a silicone mold with a little Mickey head, just like that. I can't wait to make some muffins with these. I know the kids will love them. And then finally for the kitchen items, I got a little, a little toast stamper. This was less than $5 and the idea is you press it into the bread first and then you toast it. And it's supposed to toast the little face imprint on the bread. So we will see if this works. So next up, I actually have an item that's a gift for my mother-in-law whose birthday is also during this month and we have a scarf and what I really like about this scarf is that it's more elegant looking it's not like super bright colors so it kind of goes with everything and you almost might not be able to tell that Mickey's on it at all unless you're close so it's kind of like a hidden Mickey as well this was $20 and it's gray with sort of a silver um, thread throughout it as well so very nice Next up, I have an item for Griffin, my youngest child. He's about 18 months old right now. And unfortunately, when I bought this, they took it off the hanger. So it's a little bit hard to show you now, but it's a Donald Duck onesie. Now this is a 24 month size, so it's pretty big for a onesie. But I love, I love this, it is so cute. Look at the little collar flap back there. And this came with the little diaper cover. And you guys, Check out the back. It has a little feathery feather, a little fuzzy feather on the butt. Isn't that cute? And then you guys, it also came with the hat. Look at that little Donald Duck hat with the little flap there. I'm not sure if he'll wear the hat, but I hope he will, because that is adorable. Now before we left, my mom actually gave us a gift card to use while we were here. So the next couple of things my kids purchased with that gift card. So thank you, mom. Mackenzie picked out this Rapunzel doll. These were on sale. If you bought two, they were $20 each. So I was able to talk the girls into getting these. Let's see, I got the little braid down there, like that. So. For Lily, she picked out Ariel. Now Jackson actually picked out this guy, which is a robot Pluto dog. Cause that's not gonna be annoying, right? <laughs> it's fun. Now Griffin actually picked out a plastic Mickey figurine and his arms and his legs are poseable, but I actually left it with him, so I can't show it to you. Next up, I have a couple of reusable park items. Things that we can bring back on our next trip and save a little bit of money. First up, I have the annual pass holder popcorn bucket. It has a really cute design this year with the blue. There's a lot of blue in the designs this year. So this was $15, but now every time we bring it back, we can fill it up for only $1. So that's a pretty good deal. Now it's not good for the entire year, but just until March. And then I also got the reusable mug. This is a plastic mug so the kids can use it and hopefully not break it. And it has a little trolley on there, the castle, and a horse. When we bought this, it originally had hot cocoa in it. Next up, I have two mugs. Now choosing mugs at Disneyland is really hard because they make a ton of cute ones. But these guys actually came from the Starbucks inside of the park. Now this one was actually on sale because as you can tell, it's kind of left over from Christmas. This is normally $20 and it was only nine. And you can see it has a little gingerbread 
castle on there. And I don't mind that it's not Christmas anymore. I could see myself using this all the time because it is so fun. And then I also got this highly collectible park specific mug. This is the one for DCA. They have one for Disneyland, but it's always sold out. So I was happy to find this one and I'll definitely keep watching for the Disneyland one as well. That's the thing about Disneyland. They have items like the ears and popcorn buckets and mugs that are limited edition and they become really hard to find. So if you're a collector, you gotta watch out. So I don't know if you can tell here, but if you look really closely on the Mickey, you can see different scenes and attractions within Disney's California Adventure. So I really like that. Maybe next time I'll find the Disneyland one. So lastly, I have a few Disney things that I actually picked up at the local Walmart. There's a Walmart not too far from here, and you can always check there first for souvenirs because you'll get a better deal. For the girls, I picked up these socks. These are some long knee-high socks, and both girls will fit in these. These are only like $4. At the park, you would easily pay $10 for the same thing. And then I also got everyone a new pair of jammies. These ones are for Lily. We have Ariel. These are for when it starts getting warmer. And these are only $9 a piece, so a really good deal. For Jacqueline, I got some superhero ones, just like that. They come with shorts as well. And then for Mackenzie, I went with classic Minnie Mouse. So it comes with the shirt, just like that. Oh, the hanger broke, so it's kind of hard to see. And then here's the little sleep shorts. Aren't those adorable? So yeah, definitely check out Walmart. There's also a Target not far from Disneyland where you can find good deals. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me for this Disneyland haul. Let me know in the comments down below out of everything I showed you, what was your favorite item? And let me know if you've ever been to Disneyland. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.